Here, we are going to check whether the given star operation is both commutative or associative. As a star is defined on Z, the set of integers, as A star B is equal to AB plus 1. So let us show if it's commutative or associative for all possible values of A and B as elements of Z. This may be true for some, but the goal here for star to be really defined, to be commutative and associative as well, it should work on all elements. So let's start with commutativity. Commutativity. For this star to establish commutativity, it should follow that this operation A star B is just equal to B star A. In short, whether which uh, element is, star, uh, is to be written first under the binary operation star, if the results for both are the same, then it's commutative. So let's start by solving for A star B, and we will show later on B star A if we have the same results. So for A star B, following its definition of A, B plus 1, of course, it's automatically A, B plus 1. Because that's what is given there. A star B is A, B plus 1. Now for B star A, okay, this is just equal to, because the first um, element is B, so you follow B, A plus 1. However, take note that we can just simply rearrange this and we can also rewrite this as A, B plus 1 because B and A or the product of B, A now is actually commutative in um, the usual multiplication. So we just simply rearrange it, A, B plus 1. This would mean A, B plus 1 here is just equal to A, B plus 1 on the other. That would mean A star B is just equal to B star A. This would mean that star is commutative because the result when we have A star B is just the same as the result for B star A under the given operation. So it's done for commutativity. How about for associativity? We need to show that if we have the first grouping of A star B, star C, by the way, I forgot right here, let A, B, and let's just include C because we'll be using three elements for associativity, elements of Z. Okay, this, go back, going back here, this expression should be equal to A, star B, star C, to show that it's really associative. So starting with the first expression, A star B star C, this is equal to, using the definition, a star B is A, B plus 1. But this is still to be subjected with star C. Okay? This will be under the operation. You will have here A, B plus 1. Taking this as one um, term times C. Because this would be your new A. This would be your new B. So we have here A times B. So you multiply them. However, don't forget that you still have here plus 1, okay? So when you multiply the elements, then you add 1. That's its definition there. So we are treating this as entirely a singular element, okay? This would mean this would be, uh, we have here distributive property A, B, C, plus C, plus 1. This is the result for the first grouping. We have A star B before we uh, operate it with star C. Hopefully you're following because then again, we are treating this as one, okay? Now, going on the other side, B star C, you will have here the result for the first grouping. You will have here A star, and you operate the first grouping following the definition. So multiply the, the elements and you add one, but this is still to be subjected with A star that operation okay now to continue you will have the form here uh, since you are now operating uh, another star operation we'll be treating this as one just like earlier this would be our new b okay so multiply them a times bc plus one 
then you will that's your a times b but you still need to add another one this would mean you see distributive property you have a b c a times one is a and then you have here plus one looking at the two forms we have a b c and we have one but we have terms here which are not the same this would mean a b c plus c plus one is not the same as a b c plus a plus one well you can say this is true if c and a have the same value but we're talking about for all values of a b and c element of z so since the two expressions are not the same we can say that a star b star c is not the same as a star b star c with this star is not associative so these are the results for commutativity associativity of the operation star with the use with the given definition it's commutative but it's not associative Thank you very much for watching.